News 9. The Seminole Girls softball quad tonight turned into a field of dreams for a group of very special young people. Our Steve Shaw found out why this is a special event, not just for the kids, but everyone involved. They call this a league of their own. They only play eight nights a year. And there's a waiting list, not for players, but for those who want to be their buddies. We do have kids um, wheelchairs, walkers. I have some low vision. Um, we represent a lot of different, different abilities out here, and there's nobody we turn away. Holly Daniels started Seminoles, a league of their own, nine years ago. I have a child myself with a disability, and I wanted something like this for him. And being small town, we usually have to travel to go to do something like that. This year, the league boasted nearly three dozen kids. Each game, they're partnered with what are known as buddies. Longtime Seminole High School football coach Mike Snyder is just one of many community leaders who volunteer. They really give you a lot of effort, and like I said, it's, it's an honor to be associated with it because, you know, I, I think America's about uh, doing a lot of good things, and you have to give back once something's given to you. He went from completely shutting down to, you can see him out there right now, he's a little <laughs> social butterfly. Gabrielle Evans' son, Wyatt, is one of the players. He's just not very social, and this has really opened him up, not only here, but in school and everything. No matter what, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, they have all made improvements um, physically and socially. A League of Their Own wraps up play this season next Monday night. On the scene, on the story, in Seminole, Steve Shaw, News 9.